When I recorded a podcast with Mike Matthews and Muscle for Life, we discussed testosterone and especially how artificial estrogens lower your testosterone. And I describe this in my book, Estrogeneration, in detail, including a lot of references, and especially this idea that testosterone is dropping. And it is. I mean, we've got archaeological uh, evidence that testosterone has been declining, but there's this crazy recent trend, um, and this paper here shows it, from the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism, 2007. The study is called a Population Level Decline in Serum Testosterone Levels in American Men. Look at this, 501 nanograms per deciliter in about in the 80s, drops to 435 in the 90s, down to 391 in the 2000s. It's just been this incredibly dramatic decline on average, and that's not age-related, that's just across the board. Huge declines in testosterone, huge problem with artificial estrogens. We've talked about that before. But what kind of, you know, got me researching this in more depth was Mike Matthews from that same podcast. He asked me to write a few articles on testosterone, and I started diving into it, and this is a rabbit hole. I mean, this is really, there's so much conflicting research, so many people arguing about everything. But one thing that really surprised me was this essentially fake news regarding age-related declines in testosterone. So yeah, it's one thing that everybody's de testosterone is declining, but age-related declines? If you Google that, you find this figure, this graph, all the time. Google Images, this comes up, literally comes up on drugwatch.com, hghprescription.com, nebido.com, ironmagazine.com, drangie.com, elitemensguide.com, on and on and on. I just wrote those ones down. And what this graph shows is age-related decline in testosterone. Starting with like about age 20, it shows here that testosterone is about, I don't know, six, 700. And then it just steadily declines down to oh, about 200, 250. But you know, by age 90, age 100, just this steady decline in testosterone. And most of the people that show this image don't have a reference for it because I was looking, trust me, because this is what I'm told. This is what we've all been told. Yeah, after age 40, your testosterone just keeps dropping. But get this there's a reference finally on. I found one with a reference 1993 Annals of Medicine. So I looked up that paper. It's by this person named Ver, Vermulin, and it's called the Male Clima, Climacterium. And here's the conclusion from that paper, which, by the way, didn't even have that graph, didn't show that data. But the conclusion was, well, first of all, the reason people are showing that graph and the age-related decline is they want you to buy their products. For the most part, people want you to take testosterone supplements or bioavailable testosterone or something like that. So they're they're kind of promoting this idea that as we age, testosterone declines. So that reference, here's what they say. Here's the conclusion from that reference. The generalized use of androgen substitution, in other words, taking testosterone in elderly men, cannot be recommended. That's the conclusion from that reference that they're using for that graph, which isn't even in that reference. So it's insane. In other words, people are trying to get you to buy their testosterone products by showing this graph that's imaginary somebody made it up and people are just using this confirmation bias and just keep putting it out there and <laughs> you know and, and it, it, the conclusion is opposite it basically says we don't even recommend using testosterone replacement therapy which we'll talk about we'll talk about testosterone replacement therapy in an upcoming episode supplements micronutrients how they affect testosterone because i went down this rabbit hole i want to share it with you but today again just age-related testosterone Let's go to this paper from 2002. There's a number of other papers similar to this. This one's in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism. It's called Age Trends in the Level of Serum Testosterone and Other Hormones in Middle-Aged Men, a Longitudinal Results from the Massachusetts 
male aging study. All right, and they looked at about a thousand people and they found total testosterone declined about 0.8% per year of age and um, both free and albumin bound testosterone, free testosterone, and the stuff that your body uses declined at about 2% per year by age, uh, of 2% per year of age, and sex hormone binding globulin increased uh, 1.6% per year of age. And SHBG, sex hormone binding globulin, again, what that means, what that is, that's how your body transports testosterone. That's the limo service, like I say in my book. It's the limo service of sex hormones. They get in there, they drive around through your blood. Your blood is aqueous, it's like water. These hormones float on water, so they need to get in the limo to, tr to cruise around your blood to get where they need to go, but they also need to get out of that limo in order to have an impact on your body. That's free testosterone, the stuff that gets out. The stuff riding around in the limo, the total testosterone, you know, it doesn't necessarily have an impact. It's inside a limo. But the point is that study did show an age-related decline. Again, about 0.8% per year. Um, and there's other studies that are kind of similar, but there's a lot of debate. There's other studies that don't show that. And, you know, it's hard to f figure this out. Finally, I found this paper. And this one really just put the nail in the coffin on this debate in 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 at least in my mind. It's from the journal of PLOS One, Public Library of Science, really well-respected journal, 2014, much bigger study, much broader study. It's not just Massachusetts, it's not just 1,000 people, it's about 10,000 people. And they said total testosterone peaks at about the, at an average age of 19 years. And you know, that makes sense, right? It's going up in puberty. And the peak, they said, is between 200 and 900 at that age. And that's nanograms per deciliter. Here they use 7 to 30 nanomoles per liter, but I just converted the units to nanograms per deciliter. Because that's what we, that's what we use when we talk about estrogen. That's what, we use when, that's what normal people use when they talk about testosterone. So 200 to 900 is about average for 19-year-olds. And then it falls, in the average case, to about 190 to 730 in old age huge ranges right 190 to 730 200 right to 900 so these massive ranges again i talk about that in my book too but here's the conclusion we find no evidence for a further fall in mean total testosterone with increasing age through through to old age they find no evidence for a steadily declining testosterone level as we age no evidence and this is a huge study but here's the kicker we do show there is an increased variation in total testosterone levels with advan advancing age. And I'll, I'll explain that. So they have this amazing graph here um, where they looked at, you know, people's age, zero, four years old, eight years old, this whole, all the way up to 88 years old. And you can see the testosterone spikes way up, the levels in men spike way up between age 12 and 19, whatever. And you can see there's a tiny decline, maybe, but the, most people, these are this is a dot plot, so every little dot on here indicates a person's testosterone level. Almost everybody is in with, within this swath, in kind of this straight line. There's not a decline with age, but you can see there's a lot of outliers. Really, there's a few people out there with crazy low levels of testosterone as we age. Like here's one at 50 nanograms per deciliter. I mean, this guy basically has no testosterone. There's a lot of them, you know, between these 10,000 people. And that's what's dragging it down. That's, you know, if you exclude those few people, then things normalize. And you don't see this, you know, decline in testosterone with age. It's crazy. You've never heard anything like that. People don't talk about that. They just talk about declining testosterone with age as if that's just a well-known, well-established fact. So I hope that enlightens you. In other words, testosterone, you know, get it checked. We'll talk in the next episode about how important it is for your health. I mean, it's crazy important. You don't want to be that guy way down low on that scale. But in, for the most part, people aren't steadily declining with age. But testosterone historically especially since the 80s, has been dropping like crazy, and we need to mitigate that problem.